Hey guys, Flipman. So welcome to our luxury look-alike Airbnb. So this is like three or four houses down from where we're launching our South Chandler luxury Airbnb. Floor plan's exactly the same, about 5,000 square feet. Giant doors there. This area is your family room. So we got some couches, we got a chair, we got a piano over there if you guys are musically inclined. Our table is gonna be way larger than this because you can see high ceilings. This is your dining area, so that's gonna fit 14 people. We'll have a rectangular shaped table in there. I do have porcelain, Italian porcelain downstairs, ceramic tile. My stairs are exactly the same. So I know the owner, she asked me for some ideas here. My stairs are the East Coast look with the wood. Right here was a giant closet, original floor plan. We're gonna have a bar here for people when they're entertaining at the Airbnb. This here is a giant open room. It's an open room floor concept. Our entertainment center is about 10 times that, larger than that one. That's more of a bedroom or study entertainment center, but you need something solid to go there for entertainment center. We have the sectional couches in ours. This here, instead of a square or rectangle, I have a circular table in there. Um, and then I have like a, cool bar top here where if you're watching television, it seats about three or four. We're work in progress. Again, we're gonna launch that one in January, but we have some amazing things coming on there. Exact same kitchen. Uh, we did the white in ours with the stainless steel appliances. Giant pantry, I redid my pantry. This was greater build when they made the houses back in 04 and it's just not very functional. Over this way, you got access to the garage, four car garage, and this is the fifth bedroom. There's four upstairs, one downstairs, has a full bath. Mine has a door that I made to the backyard for if kids stay down there, someone stays down there, we're gonna go to the backyard playground. You have the bathroom area and then a, a large laundry room with access to the garage there. So that's it downstairs. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but we met a ton of folks at the home and garden show. So we're gonna be using some of those, whether it's furniture, uh, we're gonna do some wood beams in the house, just have some great ideas flowing. So. Definitely, I'll keep you guys posted and let me know if you have any questions. Peace. This is the office and so I like it because it overlooks the, mm -hmm. the windows and stuff. And the backyard. And the backyard. And I have a sliding glass door I added to there, nice. which goes out to the balcony. And again, it was 10 grand to add that slider oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. the balcony. So it, yeah. was, it was well worth that. Yeah. I wouldn't do carpet up here myself because this stuff gets so... It will get, and this looks brand new. This is brand new, yeah. yeah. But I did, I continued the laminate up mm -hmm. here. I would too. It's, um, it's so worth it. You'll never have to change it again. If you don't exactly. Care. Especially if you have pets, like all this, it sucks it in. Oh yeah. I do have carpet in the bedrooms up here though. This is called a teen room. Yeah, it's a teen room. And um, we're going to do a lot of sporting pictures and you know, stuff like that up here. Yeah. It's very cool. And you got two bedrooms right off of it. Yep. And this is, there's four bedrooms up here, just like our house. So that was my son's room. That was my daughter's. And then this was always a guest room. Over oh, here. okay. Yeah. These are exact same, Isaac. Same size. But mine have the same arches and we have a shower tub in that one of that. And the mats are huge. Same size, <laughs> yeah. yeah, same size as ours. But having those sliding, I gotta tell you, that was a great investment I spent back 15 years ago to pay 10,000 extra on sliding glass doors to the outside balcony. I'm glad I got that upgrade. It to your home, it's like a living area. Yeah. yeah it adds to the home. Oh my goodness, so see my, <laughs> I, I spent like a lot, I decked out my whole, I redid this whole bath bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I, this thing thinks way too small for a luxury sure. home. I made my snail shower, it's gigantic. So right. you can actually sit in it and uh -huh. it has the, the water from the top. Right. And then they well, just have to renovate this. Arizona, they'll, yeah. do the, they'll redo the little bit of this. Yeah, because these are original countertops mm -hmm. here. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah. the white lasted like, they like, probably That's cleaned really it. Good. Shape. Yeah, it's they nice. look great shape. Original flooring, she's had this for years. Yeah. Good shape though, clean. Very good, very clean. The tub, like I put tile all the way around it. And just The closets are gigantic yeah, on this, huge. but this is like builder grade again. They didn't do anything. They're fine, don't get me wrong, but like 
now you can hire the classy closets oh, and all those places. Because it's snail. Yeah, snail shower. Which is fine. Yeah, but you know, I think appraisers look at that stuff like you also have sure. the extra balcony, you have that the sliders. Would be an and an upgrade. Yeah, mm -hmm. the bathrooms. Sure. Sweet. Yeah, but this is exact exact same floor plan. Mm -hmm.